Welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts. We've got the Lungfish boss, and um, yeah, it sucks things into him. There are boxes of nails. You hit the nails, the nails get sucked in, hit the fish. It's really not too complicated once you work out what you're meant to do. Do that a few times, and then you'll get the next phase, which is... Um, you know those points and platformers with the screen scrolls? Well, you see through the lungfish's eyes, and obviously you can't go in the water because then the hands will get you. So you've just got to stay in your small area of oxygen and move along the level. It's not too difficult. Uh, I might get caught in the water once or twice. Um, but it's not a big deal if you do, you just get taken back to a slightly early bit in the level. So. I generally try to stick to the high ground. I think you can actually go down low in this bit. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. Since you can just use levitation to jump up the end. Um, yeah, this is one of the most logical platform games in that there's actually a reason that you'll die if you go off the edge of the screen, which is that you will die in water because you've been cursed. Um, how logical a curse is. Um, up to you, but it makes some kind of sense. And now the lungfish is changing direction, so we've got to run there in a different way now. To be honest, the way it changes it, it's quite smooth, so I'm not sure why they bothered with that animation. So you can either grab the pipes or you can just levitate up here. I started grabbing this pipe, so I'll finish. It's a lot slower than just levitating. So you can bounce high enough, so Maybe I should have shown that as a more advanced secret technique or something like that. So it's just a case of boing and you know, to the top. And there's still no more phases to this fight once we get past this overly long scene. Oh yeah, you step near those, they close. If you punch them, they close. Um, the two types of fish you see, those ones will um, just claw you which kind of makes sense since they've got claws. The others are like um, leech fish, they'll get onto your head and you'll run around with them on your head for a while. You can destroy them to give you health and other uh, drops, but it's kind of random. So lungfish spits out um, complete boxes of nails and starts sucking. And he's good at sucking. You'll enjoy it. That's a promise. One more box of nails somewhere, please. That's plenty. And that's that little scene over. And now, for some reason, we're going for a city. Um, yeah, that's a fish on my head. So at least you know what happens when the brain-eating leech fish gets on you. So this time it's a little bit faster. Or at least the finger is. It seems it. Um, but nothing you should have too many problems with. It only really becomes a problem if you stop to collect health and kill things. Um, but you're not, you shouldn't take too much damage just from the fish landing on top of you. Which is quite humorous, but not a huge issue. Bounce up on top of the rooftops if you want. You just have to go back off there. Um, yeah. I suppose I could be grabbing arrowheads as I go along, but it's, again, not too much point going out the way. Oh! See, that was me stopping to attack that um, leech fish, and instead... See, I'm going the wrong way. I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go down here. And you see the hands at the bottom there a second ago. To show that there is actually a bottom to this air bubble as well as side. That's a good thing we can float, isn't it? What's this? Bits of a ship or something there? As opposed to the whole city we found earlier. Anyway, I do like the way the seaweed falls down when you get near it. Whoa, 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 I'm not in the right place at all. So you can bounce up in Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't good, this isn't good. I got away with that. 
So now we just destroy these, they're one punch. And you're not going overly fast, so don't worry too much about it. Now we start going fast, but there's a reason for that, which is that we've got a rail. So you just let the rail take you down, you don't need to slow it down or speed it up. And we're in the final area, the final fight, the lungfish is actually coming for us now. Um, nothing works on it except for if you stand near these things, sometimes it will sweep at you and hit you. Um, technically I'm trying to show you the way to beat the boss, but I think we're showing you the way to get your ass kicked. Since it's too close. Wow, I'm really screwing this up. Come on, come closer. Come closer. There we go. It gets this little um, headlights trapped in the things and then in the clams, the things. I know what they are, they're clams. So you just let it do that and it takes a few hits. If you need to get space you can use invisibility and um, it just stands there and does it. So it might be a good idea when you think it's quite in the right range doing it, just turn invisible so it keeps attacking the same place. Anyway, lungfish defeated. Ah, oh, poor little thing. That poor little thing just tried to kill me about eight different ways. Well, that's not its fault. This was once just a normal sized lungfish, minding its own business in a mucus lined air bubble beneath a semi dry leg bed. But judging by the work done on it, I suspect Maury has mutated it, accelerated its growth, and has placed an implant in its brain to make it do his evil bidding. Yeah, go inside there and try to smash the implant. Use the psycho portal I saw you steal from Sasha's lab. Oh, uh, yeah. That works on big scary monsters? Oh, monster schmonster. That thing's more afraid of you than you are of it. Now get in there! Uh, okay, this might be the stupidest thing we've ever done. Oh. Using the Psyche Portal on the hideous hulking lungfish of Lake of Langata. This can't end well. Um, before we do that, I'd like to highlight something. So far in this game, the brains we've come inside have been those of our instructors and our own brain. Um, they're all fairly controlled areas, and the main enemy has been the sensors. The lungfish, and I think it's fair to say everyone from this point on, isn't really a controlled area. We're now entering places which are completely screwed up. So bear that in mind as we enter the lungfish's mind. And, um, yeah, it's, it's an interesting place. I, I think you'll like it. The game really starts to pick up in its creative level design. So, um, might I be the first to welcome you all to the fabled and, and absolutely wonderful city of Lungfishopolis. Actually, I think it's more of a metropolis than a city. Pretty impressive, huh? This is the inside of a primitive creature's brain. Go fig. Um, I love this scene. I'll be quiet. Ah, top of the morning to you, ma'am. And good day to you, Officer Lungfish. How are you today? Oh, damp and happy, can't complain. And what are you and the wee one up to on this lovely day? Oh, just obeying the law as always. All posted directives followed to the letter. Ah, good to hear. Not a one of us want any trouble, that's for sure. Ah! Ah! Oh, go, go, go! Yes, you actually get to play like that. It is incredible. 
good fun, this level. Um, so, you can climb on the window buildings. Okay. I've already got maximum. Oh well. You can destroy small buildings, like so. Just by jumping on them and destroying them. Um, I really do need some of this health back. Um, so I'm going to be destroying all the buildings for a moment. Again, I'm not sure I'll destroy all the buildings when I'm actually in the main levels, just so I can get a bit of help. Um, yeah, you crush cars, you crush people. You can actually stand in water because you're tall enough just to wade for it. And um, that only lasts for the start of the level because there's deeper water later on. Anyway, let's get on to the level, hey, shall we? Dogalore. Down here! Excuse me, were you talking to me? Ah, ow! My ears! I'm sorry. Ah, oh my god! Ah. 